Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Surviving Mars 65 a day it is right now and yeah well after the last big wave of seniors uh, that we had to endure uh, we're down to 22 people now but also the age of founders has ended so I'm not expecting that many more seniors uh, coming up in the next few yeah let's say weeks i don't know something like that um, oh a cargo rocket has landed an empty one though however um and yeah i would like to well first of all wait because there's really not that much we can do with the colony at the moment um you know people are working daily lifing uh shopping dining schooly pooping and ultimately hopefully reproducing for more babies and um, what we can do though in the meantime is since we have enough fuel go ahead and do some expeditions that should Hopefully turn us into something or should give us something. I would like to uh, search for where we have stuff that we can spare. So here, for example, we need to have an explorer and that's it. We can get some resources out of that. And Knight Rider is already waiting. So, of course, let's do this. We are finishing that anomaly over there. That's the explorer. The explorer can now get over here to that rocket so that we... Start? Is it not starting? Get in there, please, somehow. He will do this. 1,500 research points, and with that, we're boosting utility crops to completion. And we're now working in the supportive community. Very important. Um, flaws after a breakdown are less developed, because right now, whenever we have a sanity breakdown, uh, that happens. And the problem is we do have sanity breakdowns constantly, because of every time there is a catastrophe, we do get um, people with lower sanity out of that, resulting, of course, in breakdowns. All right, Explorer is in and rocket goes off. There is a second rocket coming right now that we can also start with an expedition right away. And I would also like to check my other fuel refinery is not fully working. Something is still wrong here though. After the latest meteor storms, what is... Oh! Oh, we have destroyed water tanks and destroyed solar panels. Let's repair them. We can repair them all at once like this. Control click and boom. And what is wrong with the oxygen? Oh, the mox is also down and the water extractor. We lost more than I thought. Yeah, we still have water supply for another two souls, but the meteors, as we know, well, for the second time hit us hard. Everything in my infrastructure, basically. And I really felt this. Uh, still some meteors coming down, but only some smaller ones. Nothing that should really harm us that much. All right. I'm really eager to see what we get out of that. Still, we have 17 destroyed buildings. Oxygen tanks are also three destroyed. Sensor tower will cost me something. Anomaly gives me 24 raw materials. Rare materials, I'll take that. That's a bit of coin. We can always use that. Machine parts is a bit of a problem right now. What is up with machine parts? 1.1 we produce per day. 0.7 is my consumption. Barely enough, right? Especially when we have to repair stuff. Alright, rocket number one and rocket number two are landing. Both of them. Let's hope they have collision control. And 27, 24 ram metals on board. So one of them we can export right, again, right away again. And the other one we are using for expedition. Let's also do some more outsourcing two times with the rest of the money that we had. We will get in more money again. And 1200 science points is of course very good. And the rocket is already full, <laughs> 30 right away. A bit of fuel f is missing now. And then we can also fuel Night Rider 1. Ride Rider number 3 is going back to Earth. And with number 1, we could do another expedition. Something with drones, perhaps. Scientists. There's another e explorer to get us to attack. Mm, all right. Research progress with some drones. This sounds promising, too. Other than that, I think... Oh, there is another resource one. Project Redwood. Since that is really has been really successful so far let's go with another resource one uh, might actually not be the smartest idea to do this constantly but we're just going to do this since fuel is cheap and we have a rocket to spare my real problem is no babies still so we only have one child that is really not good <sighs> comfort rating 77 86 in this storm here we have only 65 and we do have quite a few people here already let's turn off one living quarter and oh no not again cold waves i hate them they're coming really often just also see gender ratio is fine 
We have an infirmary, we have the parks, we have the service buildings. It should all be really, really well. A homeless person who could actually move over to this dome here because we got the space. There you go. Okay, rocket number three. Off you go towards Earth. Bring us that money. And the other one is still taking some time here now with the refueling. Let's enable a third shift for the grocer. I think that's going to be important. Some of them are eating unprepared meals. And we should provide some more food for them. We should not eat really something out of the crates directly. Hmm. 24! We got two children. Okay, problem solved. <laughs> At least for now. I was I was really wondering why there's no children coming, but okay. We got three again. It should always be around three to four, to be honest. This would be an indication that we have a good birth rate for the growth. Alright, Rocket Anomaly is animals. finishing that. Another 31 rare metals. That's more money again. So, yeah, it's fine. It's fine for a bit of fuel. Getting a lot of cash in. And now I could actually work a bit on towards research progress. Sector scanned. Right, another sector over here. Um, we have now finished this corner here as well. It's now the upper upper east corner and also the plateau here. Oh, and yeah, this last sector right north of our base. I could also do something further micromanaging um, in order to boost our birth rate is that in the main dome we should have all the sexy people. So let's go ahead and take the sexy ones here, especially with a thumb up, right? And in the previous dome, in... Uh, in that dome, I'm going to prohibit sexy people. This is not so great for this dome, but it's going to be amazing for this dome. So I'm expecting, there it is, perfect. Both of them moved over. Um, two more sexy people in this huge sea of sexy people now in this dome here in Sikorsky. This should lead to a, a bit more scoodly pooping. And we could further uh, go ahead and have a look at the age group of, the, of these guys here. Um, middle-aged and adult, I could further say, for example, that we will only have adults in this one here so that we keep them in the reproductive state as long as possible, but we don't have enough adults at the moment. Sex-wise, five female, one, oh, we have two male too much and one that is of no sex. <laughs> Interesting. Probably the renegade. Yeah. I'm just manually moving a, a women over there that we even the balance there a bit. And one more. I mean, then we don't have enough women here anymore. Uh, that should be fine now. One male surplus is okay. There's also another youth now. Kira. No, she's been a, a youth already. Quantum. He's a new one. And he is a nerd, religious, sexy, Resources but also melancholic. Own. Yeah, all right. Now, next rocket would be going towards Earth. Hmm, we could also do an expedition. The board of community, lower risk uh, of developing flaws after a breakdown. Very good. We are wor working now on the farms. Increase the comfort rating. This is then important for the medium dome um, preparation. But of course, as long as we are not growing that quickly population-wise, the medium dome is nowhere near um, on my list. Mm, yeah, atomic accumulator. This is a much higher capacity for power than the batteries that we had so far. And I would actually also consider the deep scanning. Because later on, this will lead then also to the deep mining. And with that, we could then get us our mole that we need for some real nice to see resource income. However, of course, that's a far away. As we can see, those tags are really expensive now. So we should actually keep this one constantly at 1,000 per day. And yeah, with the exporting, it's possible. A bit more fuel, perhaps, please. Uh, cold wave in 16, we need to prepare for this by enabling now the subsurface heater. The interesting thing about it is if the cold wave hits and this one is not activated, these three domes will, will consume three times the energy they normally need, two times, sorry, and that would overload my network right away. And then we have a problem because then we cannot reactivate the subsurface heater because the power is out. So we do need to get this one up and running before the cold wave hits. It's active now. Uh, 40 energy it consumes for us. That is fine though, because yeah, in four hours it's time and we do have the electricity anyway. However, I will also now need to activate my two large wind turbines. Let's stick with those two here. Both of them are upgraded. I might consider a third one actually at some point now. And I would also like to shut down perhaps the one or one or two of my productions. Uh, the fuel one we can definitely shut down for the moment. 
the same goes with the moisture vaporator they, they just consume way too much outside of any heater this one however we can keep activated since power consumption is really high during night let's actually get us another power accumulator perhaps also a bit closer here to my dome one and a second one we can also afford yeah not here though something here and let's also charge a bit more power during daytime and by the way, here we can make actually a bigger field because the concrete extractors, of course, they're gone. Alright, also, my transporter. Could you find me, please, a few more minerals? Metals we have up here. And also one polymer. I'll take it. Better than nothing. Off you go. Commander, you can stay in the center. And Explorer, you can also stick around for more fuel. And the rocket on Earth, we can actually get back home. Think about getting anything over. No, we don't need anything, really. Machine parts we produce ourselves as well. It's fine. Electronics we have. Polymers we have. And I can just really use this to outsource my research. Four days, once again. These cold waves. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. They are active way too long. Surplus during daytime is really good. I'm afraid of the night. 86, that lasts us for 9 hours during nighttime. That's fine, right? So with that, we can survive. I think 6 hours is nighttime. Or 8. Uh, that's crucial to know. But we have a few more panels now, up for the next day. Fully fueled, rocket returns back to Earth. With lots of juicy money for us. Hooray! Comfort rating 80! That is something new. I don't think we've been this high so far. And that leads to three children again. Perfect. So 25 we have. No more youths though, up to this point. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Anomaly. I'll take it. Just need to make sure. I just wanted to say that there is no storm on the way. And look what that poor explorer sees right now. <laughs> Probably not the best of things. Uh, we can try. Get it manually over there. Though I know they have a tendency to chase you. Oh, this is looking... Close-ish. Get over there. Alright. Getting past them is the most dangerous thing. Oh yeah, also there's my transporter on its way. Let's keep the transporter here for now. Until they're gone, one is now completely on the ramp. Uh, very good. Also, another rocket ready to land. We do have not that much fuel yet, but it's okay. We will be able then to prepare the next expedition right away. And 27! We have four new children. Beautiful. There is some good growth here right now. That actually brings the nursery, no, not the nursery, but the playground to its limit soon. And yeah, one shift of the school. That's of course because, yeah, we have an 80 comfort rating in dorm 1. It is full, and it's also full with sexy people. So, that's lots of fun in here. This dome here is also 76 now, so really good. Not that many people do yet. Alright, rocket number 3, Knight Rider. Uh, what should we do with you, Commander, for breakthrough? I would probably chime in for some new tech. Yeah, we could send the Explorer on new techs. We could also send some drones for research progress. Let's do this. Very good. 720 million uh, credits that we get in again. And also a new breakthrough. Core water uncovers extremely rich underground water deposits. Uh, it's not, not the best. I was hoping for something else. Let's get the Explorer back. There's no Dust Devil at the moment. One billion in cash we can outsource again. At least a bit. To keep that 1k per day active. And yeah, with all the children coming in right now, we hopefully get more workforce soon. That can then, for example, work in my research lab. Because up to this point, the machine parts factory and the rare metal extract are way more important. We need to keep the cash flowing and we need to get the machine parts flowing. Otherwise, I will not be able to power my windmills.
Research-wise, atomic accumulator, deep scanning, let's also go ahead with the water reclamation and the low G fungi. Both of them are not that important, but they're very cheap and they will unlock us a few more techs than down here. Uh, new crops for the farm, eh, not really. Medical center might be good then for the first medium dome. Uh, Water-wise, two souls we have. Sector One of them scan. at least is being, as we can see, reached by the heater. Oh, and Sector G8 has some polymers over there. Why right, these black stones that we have there, black rocks. This is metal and that's polymers. And my transporter can do the job then once he's back home. Six more fuel for the rocket. All right, cold wave ends in two hours. And it's finally a bit better again. And oh! Planetary Anomaly gave me 3,000 science points. That's pretty cool. And with that, we can finish the Atomic Accumulator today. And can work on the deep scanning. Ah, very good. And also the first youth are coming along now. Uh, Luna. To start working on my research institute. Research lab. Research complete. All right, there we have it. This has been finished. Dome heating. And as the frost outside melts, you can see that colonists are returning to their normal routines. The atmosphere is even a bit cheerful. You finish the report on Dome Vonnegut and the issue with the heaters assuring our sponsors that the problem has been fully resolved. It seems that the accident has energized the colonists and we do get 20 morale for 5 souls. Alright, because I think we had a power shortage there for, uh, for a sec, but that's over now. We can turn off the heater. And we can also shut down the turbines again. Oh yeah, look at that. My defense at work. Hopefully. I mean, these devils are smart sometimes. Like this one here is in uncharted territory. Uh, let's just see. What are these visitors doing here? There's there's a tiny spot here available where they could enter if it's really if it's really up to them, but okay, they're turning away again. Dangerous position for us. Rocket has has returned. We can actually fully staff it now with rare metals again. And by the way, also that fuel refiner should continue its work once more. Doubling our fuel production. Actually, let's go for another expedition. I'm hungry for these. Some scientists we don't have. Um, I would probably like to go for some new tech, right? We have to explore at the moment ready. Let's do this. And since I'm really full with rare metals for a while, right? At least two rockets we could fully get going here. Let's reduce the, the shifts here for the outside rare metal extractor. And let's just hope that both of them then go to the research lab. This is where they should be going. Sector scanned. Right, and normally it will have to wait. Ah, and we don't have any sectors to scan anymore. The ramp we can do. There's still one more. Ah, two more. And then up here on the mountain we got a few more that have flat land. So there might be something. Ah, just when we hit 28, there is another senior. But it, there will not be a big wave of seniors anymore, right? There will just be the occasional uh, senior here and there. Because it's now adjusting itself to the birth rate that we had back then. So a bit more gradual, not like 12 colonists at once almost. And this one dies off. And whole jobless. Oh, we only have one more vacant work slot. Uh, probably that's this one here, the research lab. Machine parts is really fine now. We have a good surplus, twice as much production as maintenance. I could actually start with the electronics. Alright, I'm actually going to scan the anomaly here, uh, since it, it's taking a bit of time here for the, the rocket refueling. Anomaly there it is, some new techs we get, factory power. AI micro manufacturing, and let's get the... Oh, look at that, it just vanished, my explorer, because he is now on the takeoff process of the rocket. Interesting, that is something I haven't seen yet. It was just teleported to the rocket and went off with it. <laughs> That's totally fine, That's good to know for the future. That I can send them off and they will just be teleported then. Uh, meanwhile, the rocket from Earth is returning. This will be then export because we got really two full rockets right now uh, of exports. 
and with the money that we have we can continue with the outsourcing leasing leading to 1200 points at the moment and this one here will be of course refueled that's going to take though the longest at the moment uh, nice meteor there 29 people so that's 28 because one is dying now still the 30 is closer than ever Let's just see what it does. Uh, new techs for us. Oh, quite a lot of them. This is what we found from this expedition. Uh, Martian-born resilience sounds pretty good to me. Farm automation, deep water extraction. One of our very first uh, deeper uh, um, deep factories that we have. And Martian-born don't take sanity damage when working in outdoor buildings. Something that I would really like to research. Uh, 15 souls it would take us with a thousand per day. Farm automation, so farms don't require workforce anymore. There was some good stuff here now, right? It's expensive, but it's stuff that we can work with. And the rocket comes back home. Also, that's a new one. We have two shifts of the research lab now. Staffed, thanks to a, a lot of them now becoming adults. And every other factory is not full. We could actually enable both of these shifts here again. But I think we rather just start with the next production factory that we have. And that would be then my electronics factory. There we have it. It's a prefab, so we don't really need to pay for it. Um, other than, well, we've already paid for it. And let's just squeeze it in here. Hmm. Like so. There you go. And with that, we'll be able to produce electronics on ourselves, which is going to be very important for the university. Uh, there's the rocket coming back from the expedition. So far, these expeditions have been amazing. Of course, we will continue doing them. And then I... There we have it. Factory, factory, now working. Factory, factory, electronics factory. Let's amplify it right away since we have the polymers. And yeah, there is also now room for people to finally produce us something useful. And with that, we don't really need to import electronics anymore either since we can produce it now ourselves. The only thing limit limiting us in this area right now is workforce. And since we have lots of people coming up right now, this should be solved soon. So for the good, Soul 78, stay tuned.